All right, here is a level one uh, pack of level one books. They come in five strands. See that? Five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five different strands. They are made not that you go through all the algebra books and then you go through all of the what do I have there? Measurement books, right? They just whatever happens the way I pile them up, and then you go through all the problems. No, they're they're made that you go concurrently. Maybe they like a few books of algebra, and then maybe they go to a few books of arithmetic, and then they go to a few books of the calculus, right? There's five strands, and it's uh, arithmetic, these guys, right? And then algebra, measurement, problem solving, and calculus. And they're made to be gone through concurrently, not consecutively. That would sound really stressing that, that you don't go through the whole level of this and then move on. The idea is you go through, and then if you have the other books too, if you bought a kit, like a curriculum starter kit, you go through those books too, Addition Facts Mastery or Multiplication Facts Mastery, right? Um, they're designed that you go through all of them. The only ones that I'd say that you go through first before you would go through these would be the Smiley Face series. Go through the Smiley Face books first. But you know what? You don't need to. And certainly if you have older students that are, you know, six, seven, eight, start them in level one. They might not need Smiley Face books. Smiley Face books are designed for the, you know, six and under crowd, those that have uh, impairment, maybe they can't write so easily, they can't hold a pencil. You don't need to be able to make symbols to learn math. If I, if one thing that my website and blog has stressed that if you want to learn concepts, you don't need to be able to write. Okay, so the Smiley Face series was made with that in, in mind. This one is just, you know, about as when it starts off for the little kids, we're just drawing lines, right, counting x's and x squareds, and then later on, all we have to do is check the right boxes, and if they want to, they can draw them in, right? I've seen kids complete the book because they want to, right? But to start off with, the skills needed are minimal. Right for writing, that is. Okay, so I mean, because like, what do you need? What do you need to be able to start with this? We always say, if you can form a rectangle, count to nine, and tell me if something's same or different, we can teach you math. That statement stands 21 years later. Okay, level one books. Great, great books. Um, hopefully, we are going to get these uh, the prices down on these because I find the prices to be uh, really hard to swallow at where they are now but uh, we're working on uh, lowering the price and converting them to PDF and all that stuff. But right now is what it is.